Hello and welcome back on my YouTube channel Par Doshi Learning by Doing. So in this video we are going to see the difference between UiPath apps and UiPath forms. Till now I have made many videos on UiPath apps and form. There are dedicated playlist for that if you will go to the channel and in playlist you will find over here UiPath apps and somewhere below UiPath forms. So on UiPath apps we have 10 videos and forms we have 21 videos but many people are still getting confused between when to use app when to use form or how does the licensing work for both of them and how are that features useful and what are the use cases so in this video i am going to give you a walkthrough of a high level idea of what uipath apps is what uipath forms is and then i am going to explain how does it work what use cases are possible using these two particular features that we have in UiPath. One is a product and one is a feature that we have and then about the licensing. So let's get started. Now, the major difference between UiPath apps and UiPath forms is UiPath apps is a cloud-based feature of UiPath. So to use UiPath apps, you have to redirect to your cloud account that is cloud.uipath.com and you have to go over here at apps. And then it is getting loaded. So you see, there are these different types of videos that I've created. In apps, now we have one more additional feature that is called as expressions and functions. So if you haven't explored that, then there is a video about that as well. So now, just to give a first idea about UiPath apps, it is a cloud-based feature. And you have to go to your cloud.uipath.com redirect yourself to apps and then create a new app whereas to use uipath forms you have to create a studio process so i've created a normal process over here you have to go to manage packages all packages and here you have to search uipath.form so if you see over here here is the activities package available and you have to install it now once you install it so here we can see clearly the difference that UiPath apps is a cloud-based feature where you have to go to your UiPath cloud and build your app whereas UiPath forms is something that you will directly see over here. So let me install UiPath forms this particular package so that we can also see what kind of activities we have in this. So there is only one single activity with the UiPath forms that is create form like we can see over here there is this build app and after building the app okay so let this get installed and by the time we'll see it. after you create the app you can see this app studio so the first ui or the first interface that you will come across is going to be the app screen that we had seen this was this screen so this there is only one activity you can see or one button you can say that you have to click and then you can create your apps and do the further processing whereas over here okay why is it taking time okay, let it get installed yeah so now we created our app and you can again go and edit it right so this is how our uipath app studio looks like whereas in form also it is almost similar when you click on create form you will see different features the canva to design your uipath form now if i search over here create form you see within this this is this comes under uipath form dot activities which we have installed now when i drag this okay this is multiple yeah when i drag this you see there is only one button open form designer when i click on this I can see multiple elements, basic, advanced, HTML, content, phone number, and all that. Whereas over here, we can see layout, data. So there are these different things that are that available, right? So this is how, now this is my canvas where I can design my UiPath form. If I drag a text field, right? Or let me just save it simply. If I want to let the user choose a file or folder, I can give that option. Okay, selection type 
file we are going to make it and yeah let's click on save so this is how you can design your ui path form okay now coming back over here mm, yeah now coming to this now what are the different features that you now in apps there is an additional feature where you can add many different types of colors right in forms if you see there is nothing like an option where you can add background colors right but this you cannot see as a disadvantage or a con of that particular feature but they serve different purposes now when we talk about an android app we need highest configurations with that that i should be able to choose a light theme or a dark theme and that kind of things right so in that way the app concept is there where is a google form when you see a google form it is pretty much simple you can add few images right so you can compare it in this way that google form right i am only talking about the features not how you can share google form the similar way you can share ui path form that is not possible we'll come to that point in the further part but here something like forms are always simple you can do some validations you can do all that kind of things but you cannot design it too much to make it more configurable with a light theme and a dark theme you cannot do all that whereas over here in ui path apps there are background colors that you can add to your field so if i go over here and i go to style so you see there are background colors which i can add so now this background color is added and on that i can design my ui path app that i want so first of all this is the major difference the cloud and the non cloud feature right so this is used using the activity package that we have now when we talk about use case so use case could be something like this that a live application portal could be your app right whereas when we talk about in form case right in form case it could be something like that that you make some selections or you submit some data right live application portal is like complete application it will manage employee data through database and many other things it will do that about the lives it will show a dashboard it will show the live balances and all that in ui path forms that becomes too much complex so in that kind of cases or in that kind of use cases will use ui path apps but when we again come back to ui path forms right in ui path forms if you have to create a complaint registration management i have that component on marketplace as well you can check that out but yeah so complaint registration management becomes a kind of a form where when on a call center if the employee is on a call and the customer gives his or her customer id or a complaint id that is put into the form on click of the button right on click of an button it is executed through database and the values are retrieved and displayed in other other form now if you see the multi page concept is not that much possible in ui path form you can do it till some extent but not that much you have to every time open a new form so if in case there is something like where you have to work with 10 15 pages you cannot use ui path forms that use case becomes a restricted or the, your process will be way much complex whereas ui path apps you can be design 10 15 20 pages how much ever you want so if i go over here i can click on plus i can create a page so this is new page i can create one more page and you can link all of them right so there is no restriction on the number of page you create or the linking you do between the pages so again this is the second difference point that when there are multi pa multiple pages or something like that kind of use case try to see if you can accumulate that into ui path apps rather than ui path forms ui path forms can have two or three forms opening it we cannot have 15 20 forms opening in the process becomes way more complex and to handle it to track down the exception since most of the data will be passing in right so that is another difficulty while developing that again not a disadvantage but serves different purposes okay now for ui path forms as well if you design the process to do the back end process and getting the data from database and everything you have to build your ui path process so on click of form button within the do, do block i will be doing some processing so the back end of your ui path form to get fetch write read update delete the data from anywhere anything to be done is your ui path process in apps it is exactly the same so this is one of the common thing between both of them everything cannot be a difference so this is one of the common thing between ui path apps and ui path forms that 
for both the features the back end is ui path process so till now we have seen what is ui path apps what is ui path form which one is a cloud feature which one is not what are the different type of use cases and its licensing I'm sorry not licensing but a common feature between both of them now when we talk about licensing as you can see over here we do not require an additional license to run the to install the packages so this ui path forms comes under attended automation because this will be executed as per user requirements it will be available on employees assistant when it clicks run this will be executed right and when we talk about app app is also something similar it will be executed when employee clicks on the button but in that case your ui path process will be running in the back end so your robot will be busy so now ui path forms do not require an additional license whatever studio license you take right whatever package license that you are taking it will come under that but for apps it comes under some bundled licenses so let me just search over here if i can get the documentation ui path apps license i think i should get we should get something over here okay just give me a second yeah this is the one licensing.ui part okay so now if i scroll down over here now you see if this is the package that you are taking it right now let's go down where is apps okay so if you see if we are taking this ui path cloud automation developer named user or cloud automation developer multi user in that ui path software capabilities we are getting apps nowhere it is particularly mentioned that you need a ui path form license so apps is something that you need license which comes under this bundle so now if we see over here again cloud orchestrated citizen developer or citizen developer multi user we have apps so in this way apps is available in bundled licenses whereas forms requires only studio license and then you can run it and attended license now you can publish your ui path app and give access to different employees within the organization not outside the organization but within the organization your tenant which is created you can give access to multiple employees and they can execute apps whereas forms needs to be available it cannot be published or accessed using a url but it should be available in employees ui path assistant so in that case so in that case it should be published within the orchestrator to which the employee should have access and it should be available within his assistant so he or she can run the ui path form and execute the processes whereas ui path apps can be given a cloud access and can be accessed using an url so all these points now a final quick recap so final quick recap of what we saw ui path apps is a cloud based feature whereas ui path forms is not cloud based feature it should be executed through assistant ui path apps have different features like adding background color and many different things and doing the configuration whereas ui path forms has more on the side of validations if you see the validation within ui path forms is way more stronger than validation in ui path apps because for ui path apps for validation as well now this expression and function features which has came it will make the task easier but you will still need a ui path process whereas ui path forms provides you more of validation features required fields and all that kind of functionality so ui path forms has more strong capabilities in that case both of them have their background or back end as ui path process now if you want to have a many multi page application you should go for ui path apps whereas ui path forms is most probably for 
one or two multiple forms. UiPath forms does not require a different license, whereas UiPath apps, it definitely requires a different license, which comes under this bundled packages. I'll put this link in the chat as well. So this was all about the difference between UiPath apps and UiPath forms. And now I'm pretty sure that you can confidently talk with anyone within the community or within your with your clients as well that what is the difference between UiPath apps and forms and when should be used what. And if you would like to learn more in detail about the use cases of both of them, you can find 10 videos of UiPath apps. They have basic, intermediate and advanced videos on apps and forms. It definitely has almost all the concepts and there are 21 videos of that. Thank you for watching the complete video. I hope this, this video was very much helpful to you and you can now talk with your clients or business user or within your team as well. Thank you so much for watching the complete video. Please do hit the subscribe button and share the video with your colleagues. Thank you.